What's up guys, time for another Jack Wolf Knives unboxing. This one's gonna be insanely popular. Looks freaking incredible from the pictures. Let's check it out. So this is the new Feel Good Jack. <laughs> Check out that artwork, oh man. Woof is right. So this is gonna be a doctor's knife pattern slip joint and that's where the name a Feel Good Jack comes from. Love the artwork, that's awesome. This is probably one of my favorite artworks so far. Check out that sticker, man. Just what the doctor ordered. Awesome. And the leather slip. Whoa. Very nice. All right, guys. Moment of truth. Looks like they went with a kind of a greenish, grayish, topish color for the shop rag this go around. Looks fantastic. I know this is just the packaging, but man, awesome packaging. I'm feeling good already. Let's check this bad boy out, guys. Moment of truth. Wow, check that out, guys. This is the Limoncello. Is that how you pronounce that? Limoncello. There's also Fat Carbon White Storm, which is pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of the Arctic uh, Storm version. Then there's the Camel Carbon Limoncello, Fat Carbon Dark Matter Blue. Camel Carbon Bazooka Pink, and Fat Carbon Lava Flow. All amazing variations. I think the Limoncello version looks badass, man. I don't normally look at the specs beforehand. I did see a couple pictures of this one. And you know what? It's smaller than I had envisioned. Freaking light, too. Let's see how light it is. I haven't even opened it up yet. Let's see. 2.1 ounces. That's crazy. All right, let's check this out, guys. You ready for this? Man, look at that. That is sexy. Very sleek, slender. More of a gentleman style, for sure. So a doctor's knife pattern, you typically have the long, skinny, rectangular handle, a flat bottom, which was used to smash up pills. And then typically a long spear point blade. I think the sheep's foot, though, man, is the way to go. Uh, and then sometimes the doctor's knife would also have a secondary blade. Ben showed one in a video. I think it's kind of like a mixer type of thing. But I think this is, this is definitely the way to go, man. It's like a gentlemanly, classy scalpel, man, with obviously with the premium materials that you get on a Jack Wolf knife. That blade is crazy, too. Look at that. Really nice sheep's foot blade, and it's pretty short relative to um, some of the other knives that Ben's done. Let's put it up against a Benny's clip. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> and the javelina. You know, what's crazy to me, though, is that we go from three millimeters all the way to crazy thin behind the edge. Really impressive grind work on there. Man, holy crap. That is nice. S90V on the blade steel. Titanium frame, titanium hardware, integral bolster and liners. Closed off bottom on this one. And it looks like he knocked off the corners a little bit, had those milled down. So that's going to help with, with any hot spots that you would expect being a rectangular object. That's shocking how comfortable that is for being just a basically a long skinny rectangle. It's not going to be as crazy comfortable and ergonomic as the Havelina Jack, which I think is probably the most ergonomic one that Ben's done so far. But that really isn't the goal of this pattern. This, for most people, is probably going to be more of a desk knife or a gentleman's knife, utility knife. Four fingers for me, sure. Um, but I prefer to sit back a little bit anyways and have my pinky round the corner a little bit. It's just, that's the most comfortable position for me, and then you're not running the risk of accidentally pushing down on the spine. Overall length is about six and three quarters. Blade length is about three. Cutting edge closer to two and three quarters. Handle length, three and three quarters. And a stock thickness, I'm assuming, is always three millimeters.
handle thickness, uh, just a little bit under half an inch. What I don't think anybody else has noticed is you can actually reverse flick with that fuller right there. You ready for this? Should we try it? <laughs> Here we go. <sighs> I might reverse flick my fingernail off. Just kidding, but that's uh, pretty cool. You kind of have a full length uh, nail nick type of fuller dealio. The pull weights on this one I'd say are a little bit, a little bit stiffer than in comparison to some of his others. Man, look at that. That is jumpy. Oh, that is just so freaking good. I'd say the pull weights, that's probably about a six for me and about a seven. Uh, it, it almost feels a little bit stiffer coming back. I'd call that maybe a seven or eight. And right there, maybe a seven. Maybe I'm just crazy. Let's check out the half stop position. Man, that looks awesome. Man, that is just spectacular. All right, let's do some cutting tests. So I figure the best way to check the sharpness with the Limoncello Feel Good Jack is with a lemon. Thin slices every time. Now it's starting to feel like I'm doing an infomercial. There you have it, guys. Let me know what you guys think about the new Jack Wolf knives. Feel good, Jack. Do you feel good? I feel good. Dropping Friday, May 12th, available in five configurations. Definitely go for this Limoncello version, guys. Delicious.